All right, good morning, everybody. Let me see, check the date here. It is, oh, it is the 13th. So we had the new moon in Capricorn, and today's the 13th, so we're almost in Aquarius season. Um, <laughs> oh, that new moon was something else. Woke up like in a really bad mood that morning. But um, so anyways, I, um, I was gonna get on and talk about um, Kashuk Astrology, um, but I've decided I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I think I'm gonna say that for later, but I thought, you know what, it's about 8.30 in the morning. Um, I gotta take my youngest to school here shortly, but I thought I'd pull some cards. It's been a minute. Um, it's hot as hell. And so, got all this on. Um, all right, if you want just, just a moment here. Okay, I'm back. So, um, let's do Oracle Beth. You know what, I'll just go ahead and do the Dreams of Gaia. You know, just such beautiful cards. Um, got them a couple of years ago and I've been trying to bother them here the last few months, but, um, so, so it's Capricorn season and, uh, sometimes I like to do it by the month. Last time I did it by the, um, by the life path number, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with Capricorn. So Capricorn suns and, all right. So I don't have the mount on my desk, so I don't have to worry about shaking it. Cards are flying everywhere. Sorry about watching Teen Titans in the background of cartoons. All right. So Capricorn. Ooh, Capricorn. We got King of Earth, and I pulled it actually reversed. So this is about that grounding and um, oh, Earth. You know, Earth is very much Capricorn, and you know it's about money and material things and. Um, being grounded and um, understanding not only like finance and prosperity, but also understanding hard work and dedication, you know. Um, so this is about um, basically getting your shit together and, and making sure that you um, get your, all your thing in order and, and that if, you know, if there's something that you're supposed to be doing like work-wise or starting your own business or upping the ranks in some, you know, in, in a place of work, do it. Um, if you are worried and lacking about funds, stop it because Capricorn, you know, they, they draw on money. They know how to make money. So, King of Earth. So, get grounded and get shit done. That has to do with your finance, financial situation or your work. All right, Aquarius, I'm an Aquarius. We got the Maiden. This is about manifesting, about manifesting within that feminine energy and also um, understanding that you are the lead, that you are the head and that a little rabbit there, you know, it's fertile time because, you know, you want to start getting shit together now before sun goes into Aquarius right there where Saturn's kind of hanging out at with Jupiter. All right, Pisces. All right, Pisces. You guys got Neptune hanging out there. You guys, just, you guys had Chiron there a few years back. I bet that was fun. Um... Alright, so Pisces. Pisces both same thing. But manifesting, gets getting, getting it together, figuring out what you want. I'm tapping into that yen energy. Alright, so Aries. You guys got Chiron and Mars just left out of there. Out of your sign. Must be must be nice to get all that hot headedness <laughs> away from your son. Um Alright, Aries. Ooh, we got the four of fire, so this is about oh damn. Pulling out all the dynamic parts of yourself, that the fire part, that ground and get in, and um, getting something started, getting it balanced out to where you can jump start into something. But um, but be cautionary, you know. Um, and um, oh, you got to be your own warrior. You got to really just wear this one out. But um, because you want to fire. But yeah, you wanna you wanna get creative. You wanna start get you know get start doing things. Getting you know like those plans start doing it. But um. The ground on that fire, so and um, just cautionary and uh, move quick but not too quick, you know what I mean? All right, so Taurus, my favorite. You guys got Uranus going through, turning that asses up. All you Tauruses are Taurus. Ooh, we got choices. Yes, you do have many choices, don't you? So choose wisely and choose choose what you're passionate about, not what like do what is gonna. Amplify your, oh, 
your needs and your wants and you know you don't just get just a little you know just a little selfish not too selfish but a little selfish you know but make some choices that that way you're going to benefit and not get the sword of the stick on all right taurus all right and watching the clock here gemini gemini you guys got the north node hanging out there off your sun Ooh, we got death and rebirth and you guys are very much going through death and rebirth with that activation so some things have to die in order for other things to be rebirthed in and to start and to um and fly to another level of you know just getting into that mastery because they say Gemini's are the are the jack of all trades but master of none but that's actually bullshit they can actually master stuff um, especially Gemini risings um so yeah that death and rebirth you can just let that process work itself out you know because it's, it's gonna be better for you than when it's all done we got cancer cancer you guys got Pluto opposite ears opposite opposition of you right now that's where the moon was opposite at must be nice not having saturn and jupiter they're hanging out with pluto just opposing you oh no that's cancer energy all right cancer oh we got one of fire you guys need to get initiated on something you guys need to get get shit going get it started stop wasting time just need to start put some action into it action 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 need some action all right cancer all right, Leo. Leo, you guys got Saturn opposing your sign. God, every freaking sign's got like some shit going on. All right, Leo. Leo, Leo. Ooh, we've got abundance reversal. This is about um, watching your finances and um, don't and don't and don't get too cocky with it. But but watch your finances. But also remember, there's abundance. Also, can, you know, it's not just with money, but it's with wisdom. It's with knowledge. It's with skill. It's with heart. You know, um, so be careful of that being debilitated out. So it's not just what you know funds. And um, you guys are both some of the most generous people, but you guys can be some of the most. Oh, guys, just oh, Leo's my opposite. I can sometimes I can shave your asses for make some boots for the winter time. So, but be careful, you know that abundance. But remember, always have um, show that gratitude and 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 everything, and don't ever worry too much about it but the abundance you know but careful. all right virgo virgo you guys got the neptune opposite you to your sun because neptune's in pisces holding your sun here so virgo do the do this a little hard shuffle real quick for virgo Ooh, virgo you guys got a death and rebirth but it it is i pulled it reverse this is um we're kind of stagnant right now um I have the feeling that the reason why it's stagnant is just there's some things that you are needing to do before you can move forward into some change into, into uh, the alchemizing into something better, like changing out of energies. Yeah, hot. Because the thing on my head's hot too, and right above the furnace. So, but, um, well, for just a little bit of time, but yeah, just take just to take care of some stuff, you know, for that transformation. All right, so Libra. Libra, you guys. You guys have Mars opposing your son, but, oh, let's see here, Libra, 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 ooh, one of a reverse, get out of your head, get out of your head and watch your communication, definitely get out of your head and watch your communication, initiating communication, so, yeah, so sometimes it's just best not to say anything at all, um, after Libra, we've got the Scorpio, I love Scorpios, I like Taurus, those are my most favorite. All right, Scorpio. Ooh, look at that. We've got eight of water, so wanting to come into some emotional happiness, coming, wanting to come into some like emotional evenness, like balancing and not being too overly emotional in this area, not emotional, you know, like just kind of a more of a free flowing of your water energies, you know, and tap into that love, get some love, share some love. But yeah, so just gonna do some, you know, just. It's gonna be a cool time, you know, and just live up on some family, live up with some friends, you know, enjoy the alchemy of the leveling out before it gets all crazy again. All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you guys got south node on your sun. All right, Sagittarius. Ooh, look at that. Counselor. Self explanatory. I ain't gotta tell you guys, you already fucking know. You guys already know what you're supposed to be doing. You guys are supposed to be out there seeking and traveling and learning and gaining that knowledge and wisdom so you can share it with you so you can bring that higher wisdom down and, and share it with everybody else and and that counselor um people need you so you get your a game on even if you have to put your b game on so you can get your a game so and just wanted to kind of pull an overall card 
Ooh, we got three of waters reversed. So this is um. Take some time. Take some time to yourself. You know, enjoy that with yourself instead of you know too much with others. But yeah. So that's what I get for everybody overall. Just kind of you know sit within that self and your emotions and your thoughts and feelings and enjoy your company and love of your company. All right, you guys. Have a good day.